Tomorrow's video is actually um, I'm very excited about. I sat here and worked and worked and worked and worked and came up with it, the designs and measurements. I'd seen something similar to it on another channel. And um, so I sat down today and I just like, I was like, no, I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to get it. So it is this cute little package. And inside of this adorable little package is this cute little journal. Now, this journal may remind you, it's made very similar to these. But look how cute these are. And um, this was the video we did yesterday, I think, how to do the, um, the like, Tim Holtz style ephemera using blank, you know, just plain white paper. But um, I've made this very similar to the way that I made this, um, except for the fact that this will fit down in this little box. And there's a couple of different ways that you can close this, but this is just the way that I've done. But let me show you what the box, so these were my, like, my prototypes trying to get everything to fit um yeah so those are my prototypes you know i always have to like mess around with it but let me show you number one what the box is made out of it is just made out of two of these um what do you call these i can't even think it's the Tim Holtz die set. It's for the little envelopes. So that's the basis for our box. So let me go ahead and score these. And we'll put the box together today. And probably some of the um, journal. And then tomorrow we will finish it up. So I'm just scoring my um, my little envelope. This this is the I don't know. It's that Sizzix die set that came out last year. Um, but you could probably even just make a regular um, coin envelope as long as you use do them measure them and do them the same size, and it, it would be the same basic thing. So there's my envelopes. Now I do need to cut um, a piece of paper for my bottom here. And I did not do that. So let me, let me grab a piece of this. This is where I cut it out of. And so I need this to be an inch and a half. So let's get an inch and a half. So if you're using the Tim Holtz um, dies like I'm using, these are the measurements for it. And then I need it to be three and seven eighths. And this will be that bottom. Ah, okay. So for our bottom, What you're going to do is get your scoreboard and on the three and seven eighths side, you want to score a half an inch on each side. And I just turn it around and score it because I'm not gonna try and figure all that out. All 
All right, so let's get this burnished down really good. And I do want to ink this, and I want to ink my envelopes too. So I am just getting my distress photo out, and I'm just going to ink it really good because I like the look of it. Again, I say this in every video that I use the ink. You don't have to ink. It is personal preference. And you can decorate these envelopes up, or it will be a box. I did not decorate that one up that you see right there simply because I was just trying to get the um, measurements and that was my biggest thing was just trying to get all of that done. Now one of these flaps will go inside but I'm not sure which one's going inside so I'm just going to ink it. And then I want to make sure to ink this. And y'all should have seen my hands when I got through with that other one. Okay, and I am going to ink right here and right here because when you open it or, you know, you'll be able to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to do a little bit right here. Because when you look down in the box, you would be able to see it. good enough for me for right now. So we're just doing the same thing. And when I finish this video and tomorrow's video, I will have done the ones that I needed to do um, for this week because we'll be in and out and I'm not going to have time to film throughout the week and I was stressing trying to figure out how to get the videos and but I'll be got them so there's that and again I'm just going to ink this up because you will be able to see it some You don't have to do a lot of inking on it, but I do want it to kind of show. All right, and I need to ink this because you will see this. All right, so now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on this flap right here and then we're going to stick this on. That's the first thing that we're going to do. So I'm just going to glue right here on this little flap. You could use um, your score tape, but I'm just using my glue. And you want to make sure that it's lined up good. And that looks good. And so once you get that, then you want to glue this side here. And you want to bring that flap over onto that. And then you want to glue this side. And I'm using my Fabri-Tac because it's a quicker drying glue. Alright, so see, we've got that. Now the next thing we need to do is take this here and we're going to glue this flap right here. And we're going to stick that down inside of that box. But you want your flaps to be on the outside. And then what I like to do is just take something and poke down in there and just kind of make sure that it's making good contact. Just hold some pressure against it for a minute or so. Well, maybe not a minute or so, but you know what I mean. And I'm just looking to see, and it looks like it's holding. All right. 
so then we just need to glue these flaps down. Look, there's our box. How easy is that, guys? I mean, super easy. So just gluing that down. And then just gluing this side down. And we have our box for our little journal. Just that easy. So now I'm going to put my glue up for a little bit. And I'm just going to set this over to the side and let that finish drying good. Love it, love it, love it. It's so cute. So cute. Okay. So for the spine of our journal, we want a piece of cardstock that measures three and a half inches tall by five and five eighths inches wide. Okay guys, so these are the measurements for that paper at three and a half inches wide or tall by five and five eighths inches wide. So you want to score at a half an inch. You want to score at five eighths of an inch. Then you want to score at one and one eighths inch, one and five eighths inch, one and three quarter, two and a quarter, two and three quarters, two and seven eighths, three and three eighths, three and seven eighths, four, four and a half. Five and five and one eighth. And I will put this up there for you guys to see. But these are how you need to score that. Okay. So once you have it scored, now you want to burnish your um, score lines really good. And make sure that you get them burnished real good and straight because um, you will use those lines to put your book together. And so this is where I have the hardest problem. Even though I've scored it, I still have a hard time keeping them straight. But it is very important that you do. So once we get this done, then we need to do some gluing on the spine. And you know, in all transparency, I've told y'all I would let you know. Um, and I did, I messed up the first one I done on these for this video. Uh, I don't know why I added a different thing in. And the only reason I went ahead and deleted it, because I've told you guys that I'll leave, I'll leave all of my mistakes in. <clears throat> but the only reason I did delete that part is because I had given the wrong measurements. And so I didn't want to have those wrong measurements showing to where it might possibly mess you guys up. So I will tell you that I did do it wrong. Um... I had put an extra score line in that I didn't need. So in all transparency, I messed up, but um, I wanted to redo it with the correct measurements so that you guys um, wouldn't have the wrong measurements on the screen. So what you're going to do, you're going to have a um, half inch flap there and then your one eighth flap. So on this half inch and this half inch, we're going to glue these together. So just glue those two half inch pieces together. Okay. 
and then you'll have your 1 8 inch and then you'll have your half inch and then there's your 1 8 so you don't want to do anything with it then you've got your two half inch pieces and you want to glue them And then there's your one eight right there. And then you have a half inch and a half inch and you want to glue them. And I'm just folding it down like this with each time just so that I can kind of keep those one eight inch little spine areas clear to where I know that I did not glue them down. Okay, so this is the spine of our book. And if I can get it to lay right. So there's the spine of our little book. Okay, now um, in the back of most Tim Holtz paper pads, they come with these um, little three by four cards, and that's what I'm going to use. So let's go ahead. And so um, I have measured it out, and I need them to be three and a half inches tall, and I need them two and three quarter inches wide. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut all of these at that size, so I need them to be three and a half by two and three quarters. And that looked like I shifted it. Let's just make sure. Yep, I did. All right, so again, three and a half by two and three quarters. So that's what I'm going to do here and for the sake of time I don't know that we'll put it together um, we'll just get everything ready and then in tomorrow's video we will go ahead and get it all put together um, and that way if you guys are wanting to do this as well that'll give you a little chance to get your stuff together there so yeah it's been I went through so many trying to figure out the right way to score and all that and then and I had it I had it done so good and then for whatever reason I wrote the wrong measurements down and I was so aggravated with myself and then especially because I've told you guys that you know, I will not take my mistakes out, but I had to take that one, those out because I had given the wrong measurements and I'm like, oh, I don't want to lie to them, but I really can't leave that in because I was so afraid it would mess somebody up. Even if I went back and said, hey, these are the wrong measurements. I just, I, I couldn't do that. So I did, I did take that part out. But I'm not upset about taking that part out because I did tell you guys, you know, I told you guys that I made a bad boo-boo. And that's part Sorry about that. My mother called. So, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys I made a boo-boo and there, it, I, I done it good. Like, when I done it, I... I messed it up big time. I was sitting here folding that paper and I'm like, something's not looking right. And then I looked at it real good and I'm like, you goober, you cut it wrong. I wanna keep the numbers on that. So I'm gonna turn it that way. And then two and three quarters. And I may or may not need all of these pieces, but 
I'm just going to go ahead and cut them all so that I can have it and then the two and three quarters. Okay. Now don't throw these away because we will use them. And then the other thing I did is, um, this is part of the back. You guys are zoomed in big time. Sorry, I didn't realize that. This is part of the back of the um, Tim Holtz paper pad. And I didn't want a thick chipboard, but I did want something with a little bit more substance. And so I'm going to sand these just a little bit because they look kind of shiny. And I want to make sure my glue sticks to them. So I'm just going to sand a little bit of that shine down. And that's all I really need. I just need to get a little bit of that shine off. Which I think the fabric pack will still stick, but I'd rather not take a chance. Alright, and so I need to figure out, and this is what we'll do today need to figure out which one of these I want to be my cover. So I used this for my cover on my last one. I'm thinking maybe that. Okay, I think that's what I want to be my cover and my back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down really good. So, because I want this to be ready for tomorrow, so I'm just going to line it up there. And it's not, like I said, it's not a really thick cardstock, but it's enough that it's going to give me a little bit of stability there. And then I'm going to glue my back cover down. And then get that lined up. Okay. Now I'm not going to glue anything on the back of those yet. Because that will be like one of the last things that we do. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with these little journals. I am going to sand the edges. And it just makes it look a, it kind of just like really melts that paper into that little backboard. And because it's a thinner board, you know, I gotta be careful. But I just like the way that it looks. And I'm really sanding like on the edge because I want that area to look good and warm. I'm just getting all the edges really good. And then you can do some like in the middle of it. You know, it'll like really grunge it up. I just really like the way it looks when I do that. off my desk all right so let me just we'll show you what this does when you grunge it up like that look how it just really soaks that ink up and it looks super grungy I love the way that it looks And um, what I'll do um, tonight is I will go ahead and ink these around the corners and stuff. And then tomorrow we will come back and put our little book together. So um, I know it was a short video, but um, I really don't want to get started doing the pages right now. Um, I would rather 
have this be a short video and then do the pages um, tomorrow. So that's what we'll do. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.